All right, MT8 back on the porch. Um, I brought up the subject of three days bread and water. So I got some really good comments on that. So I thought I'd talk about that. Um, I'm an X9545 while I was in the Navy, which is a Navy policeman. Not shore patrol, but an actual cop. And then when the ship was uh, in the yards up in Charleston, guess where I got to go once a week? Oh, out at the Charleston Brick. So I got to see exactly what this bread and water thing was. And I also counsel a couple of my E3 and below, because you have to be E3 and below to get bread and water. And if they were really good workers, I would tell them, dude, you're facing 45-45. 45 days restriction, 45 days extra duty or 30-30, which is 30 days restriction and 30 days extra duty. Which, if you don't know, you go through your whole day, you never get off the ship, but you go through your whole day, and then it... Hang on. And then after dinner, you had to go work two more hours for some other division. And since I was in deck, in charge of deck, my guys had to go work in engineering. Usually cleaning bilges. So my good guys, I'd kind of counsel them and say, Dude, you're, you're facing 45-45 or 30-30. And I'd explain to them exactly what that was and what was going to happen. And that with their temperaments, they would probably screw up and end up coming back up to captains. So I would say, take the three days of bread and water because you have to do that in the fucking break on the ships I served on my last two were cruisers and we didn't have a break on and I was fortunate on my last two ships that the captain would always ask them do you want 30-30 or three days bread and water? Or do you want 45-45 or three days bread and water? My captains were always cool like that. They would ask me. My captains would ask me. Well, what do you think? What do you think, folks? And I would always tell them, offer them three days bread and water or offer them 45-45 or 30-30 unless I flat out didn't really have any hope in saving them, which was a lot of the case, especially for, for the uh, homeboys out of, say, Detroit, um, East L.A., um, shit like that. We had a lot of gang type shit going on when I was there. So, that was kind of the way I kind of dealt. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give those guys a choice. I would just say, you're going to see the old man. That's all there is to it. And, of course, the captain and 
my department head and division officer and my senior chief or master chief or whoever was above me would ask, well, what do you want to do about this guy? I'd say, I don't want to get rid of him. I had a kid that went through four captain's masks. It's usually three strikes. You're, you're fucking out of here. I couldn't save any dopers, but... Just regular Miss Cretans, I could say. They go out, get drunk some night, do something stupid, go to Captain's Mass. I could normally say, do some dumbass shit on the ship. I'll give you a prime example. I had a kid that dropped his keys in the toilet or the head, whatever you want to call it. And he didn't want to reach his hand down through his shit and grab the keys, so he flushed it. It went down into the, uh, oh fuck, I can't even remember what they call it anymore. The mulcher, he chews all that shit up, mixes it with salt water and then spews it out the side of the ship. Fuck. Sorry, I can't remember the name of it. One of you HDs will remember it. You know what I'm talking about. And it fucked it up. So when they found it, the kid had his keys, but he had his dog tag on. Case closed. We know who, who flushed the keys. So, me as the uh, leading petty officer was asked, what do you want to do? I didn't offer three days bread and water. I didn't offer anything. I said, 45-45, and on his two hours off, or two hours extra duty, send him down to that son of a bitch to clean it out before the HDs had to pull the mulching shit out of it. You know, you know what I mean. And that kid had to do that. That was his assigned extra duty. Luckily, we were already in a yard period, so... Man. So anyway, getting back to the bread. They're only required to give you 2,100 calories a day. Okay? So it wasn't like they walked up and said, how many loaves of bread do you want? You can figure it out. In uh, Charleston, they would walk up to you and go, walk up to your cell and say, how many slices of bread do you want? And then they would say, how many cups of water do you want? And no, they weren't this big either. They were like, what is it, eight ounce, you know, like a pint of milk with nothing but water. So yeah, if, if you could survive three days bread and water and you were a good worker, I'd say take the three days bread and water, that way I don't lose you, and we can get you back out on the street, we're back out on the water. Knock it off. 
So that's my little spiel on three days bread and water. How funny is that? And I know a lot of you guys are going to pop on and go, oh, oh, oh. But now they want to do away with bread and water. Must be the millennials, huh? All right, NT8 on the porch. Nice discussion. We'll talk to you later.